Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. The first hunt actually firing the video up in the lodge. What do y'all think? Just think, uh, in less than a month, about three weeks, actually, we'll be firing up the vlog in here with clients everywhere, scratching their eyes, tired, <clears throat> just getting out of bed, ready to go. But today we're doing a little uh, walk-in hunt at one of my favorite little walk-in places. It should be a two or three man hunt. Yes, we're taking Fred and we're taking my new dive bomb decoys today. I can't wait to see them in the water. I haven't got to use them yet. I just got my new rigs form, which I will show you when we get all set up at our little water hole. But I wanna tell you guys, the t-shirt of the month, the Ducks t-shirt of the month right here for October is available when you purchase the Ducks t-shirt of the month, it enters you to win the Argo that we're giving away at the end of the season. Yes, that is right, we're giving away an Argo, the one Flair has had forever, yeah, it's sweet. If you wanna get entered to win, I will link the t-shirt of the month down in the description below. If you ever purchase something from Ducks Waterfowl, guys, use code BOB at checkout, it'll save you some jack. But I'm not gonna blab too much today. Uh, it's time to, uh, time to do some public land. Uh, before the goose hunting fires up and the clients are here. So, oh, I'm loving it. Check out the new fan. I'm loving the new fan. Uh huh. But let's get on the road. What do you think, Freddy? Are you ready to go? I'll take that as a yes. Woo. Well, all set up. We're sit down. Uh, thank goodness we got here early. We met here at 5.30. I think we found our spot uh, right at six, right? Yeah. Right at six. And uh, thank goodness because uh, a group tried walking in on us. Uh, and, you know, props to them. They're just trying to find water. We ran into uh, big issues right out the gate. Where I usually go, completely dry. Bone dry. Kansas is insanely dry right now it is a sad deal so uh, when it comes to public land like this when you're walking in these groups of guys don't get mad at them they're just trying to find water like you so uh, it looks like they found water about 200 yards away which isn't too bad uh, awesome little spread tiny tiny little water hole I'll show you it when the Sun comes up but boy howdy look at that sunrise sitting right at like 39 degrees well, Fred, it is shooting light. Definitely gonna have to film with the big camera here. Like y'all know, y'all know the deal. It's so dark, this GoPro will not pick up a darn thing. Plus, Preston and Sam are both using 20 gauges. So, <laughs> you know what that means. We're gonna film with the big camera and hopefully watch some big swings and big old misses. <laughs> I'm used to the bottoms. By now we would have heard someone shoot, know. you know, a minute or two before shooting light. I know. It's actually hit the way it's supposed to go. I thought that was oh, a duck. Oh, I thought that was a duck too. <laughs> oh. Shots. Hold on, see him. First shots going off up to the north. There we go. Someone might be on the board. Yeah. Get some birds moving. First shots. Um, we just had a till land in our spread. Barely could see it. Didn't know what it was. So obviously didn't pull the trigger, but um, we looked at the waterfowl report and how many did they say that they spectated yesterday? 425. 425 ducks. A whopping 425, which, hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm just hoping we get something down today. You guessed it. Back home. And no. We did not shoot one shell, one gun. I think, honestly, uh, we only heard about 10 shots total on the entire marsh. Now that marsh, uh, that is actually the public marsh that I caught the teal, what was it, two years ago? Yeah, epic. And that was an epic hunt. And that year, there was an epic amount of water on all public land here in Kansas. This year, it's completely different. And that's what brings me to my next point is, believe me guys, if you guys have been watching me long enough, I love public land. I am a public land advocate. I love it, I love getting out there. 
I love being able to go and not ask permission. There's a lot of reasons why I love it. So right, right off the bat, please understand that I am not bashing public land at all. This is what I'm trying to get to y'all. On the other hand, this is what I mean by the title, you know, public land, why it sucks sometimes and why some people hate it. But before we get into that, I really want to show you guys something. You guys have been asking me a ton, Bob, uh, why don't you come out with your own Ducks merch like Bobby Guy Films? Hey, we have one shirt out. If you guys haven't seen it, it is available. It's on the website. Yeah, that Fred shirt. Check it out. He's got a wood duck in his mouth. That is Frederick right there. This t-shirt, I will link down at the top of the description. Go check it out. It's awesome. It's Fred. And uh, you all seem to love it. You guys have been picking it up. And I just wanted to throw it out there as well as real quickly. These bad boys are every bit of three years old. Yeah, I haven't got a new pair for like the last two years, but these are like three years old and they have held up wonderfully. They are warm. Great. I'll link them down in the description as well. What I'm getting at guys is a lot of people, a lot of people out there, um, they go public land hunting. A lot of them are just like all of us. Uh, you discover duck hunting, pheasant hunting on walk-in public land scenarios, whether it's a boat, walk-in, whatever, right? Well, you get a taste of one good private hunt on water, on field, and you're like, oh, never again, I'm never hunting public again. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, remember where you came from for one thing. And then for number two, you can't tell me that it isn't nice just being able to drive out and go get permission, or sorry, not have to get permission on something, and just show up and hunt. Now, today we did a hunt and we got beat to the, uh, to the water hole because it's public and I got up too late. But other than that, we pay our taxes. <clears throat> we pay our taxes. We have public land. We buy stamps, federal stamps that go to the conservation of public land. All these initiatives that these stamps, all this conservation, guys, get out there, get a buddy, take them public hunting. You don't have to have a million leases. You don't have to have the best lease. Get out there on this hunt. We did not shoot a gun, but you know what? We laughed, we made memories, and it was, it was fun. It was, it was fun. It's October here in Kansas. I am not gonna expect to lemon out every time. Shoot, I'm not even gonna expect to shoot one duck every single hunt, especially when it's public land. I understand that, maybe because I'm 34 and I've been doing this a little while, but my appreciation for public land has went out the roof the older I get. You're darn right I'm gonna be taking Bodie and Harper my babies out on public land and showing them their roots. I'm not just gonna spoil Bodie with, with nothing but private land hunting. Now, will he get a lot of private land hunting? Absolutely, he'll get some juice holes. But for the most part, they will be raised public land hunting, walking in, carrying decoys, struggling in their little waders, having to wield their gun as well, and, and they will learn safety the whole time. Public land is so incredibly important um, in so many different ways that uh, it for one it teaches you hunting ethics you know not not shooting towards somebody uh, creating enough different distance between you and the other group so you don't battle the whole time just uh, just know guys get out there and enjoy your public land hunting don't expect the world when it comes to birds and limits I just wanted to get that out there because I've had a lot of people comment on my public land videos Bobby you kill it on private land. Why are you even wasting your time? Is it for the videos? No, it's not for YouTube. It's not for the videos. It's easy for me. I go out there and I still enjoy it. And that's what I know. I know. Believe me, worst hunt of the year yet. That's fine. But I want to use it in a way that to make you understand that at 34 years old and with a huge YouTube, YouTube channel and whatnot, I still enjoyed that hunt enough to want to make something out of it you know I didn't have to but I think it's important again I'm done blabbing another thing another thing look believe me I understand public land we did that 12 motion decoy spread it was funny we didn't harm anybody we didn't harm anybody we shot two ducks and 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 a lot of people people had a kick out of it um, guys get out there have fun stay legal um, have good ethics um, keep the hunting industry clean, please, please. It seems like, you know, October, September hits the first bird, comes into uh, the state, the county, 
per se, and everybody's up in arms. Everybody's battling. Everybody's better than each other. This guy sucks. Oh, no. It, it, this is why. This is why he sucks. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, have some common courtesy. I'm going to ramble here a little bit, and I don't really care because a lot of people need to hear it. Have some common courtesy. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. That's what I've always stood behind. That's how, what, that, that is what I was taught as a child. Just saying, you know. Um, I really want to uh, thank all of my supporters out there. All you positive people that are always dropping positive comments, that are enjoying the videos with your sons, your daughters, your family, and your, in, your, in the comfort of your home. Um, and always to the ones that are expressing their gratitude and just their positivity to me. It goes a long ways, guys. It goes a long ways. Uh, I've always said it, humans, uh, it's a lot, with humans, it's a lot easier uh, to complain about somebody than it is to praise somebody and see the good in people in general. So, again, for the second time, I'm done blabbing. Dude, you're just sleeping all the time, man. Huh? You're sleeping on the job? Huh? That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy, Freddy Rico. So to wrap up my spiel, guys, if you have a bad public hunt, give it another shot. Don't ever give up on public land hunting, man. Especially in the early season. It's about all we got, you know? Especially here in Kansas. We don't have a lot of it. I, I really wish we had a lot more walk-in public duck hunting options, but we really don't. So cherish what you got. Keep the public lands clean. Pick up your empties when you're through with your hunt. Pick up your wrappers, your cans, your bottles, your trash in general, even on private land. Keep it when you leave. Make sure it's better than when you came. Almost forgot. I got two packages from y'all. Uh, almost forgot. We're not done with this video. What is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, I remember you hitting me up, dog. Dang, look at that game lanyard. That's a duck tote, goose tote right there. You can hook it on something. Woo! Please tell me you put a letter in here, dude. No letter? Really? Really? It says it's from Cameron Dottie. Thank you, Cameron. Bro, should have put a uh, note in here, dog. Really? All right. Well, thank you, Cameron, dude. Sweet game tote. I'm definitely gonna use it. Now, here's this. This is pretty large. Ooh, I need a knife. All right, here we go. Here's a note. He put the letter right on top. Tim Wagner. All right, hey. Here we go. Okay, sent some pictures. That's what's up. Dear Bobby, Beth, Sissy, Bodie, I hope you can use this set of gold rimmed duck plates from Bradford Exchange in your lodge or home. I received these from a fellow and, ah, well thank you. I wish you success with your new guide service, etc. Most of all, be safe, your fellow Kansas outdoorsman and hunter. Dude, Tim, thank you, brother. I hope, or maybe I'll run into you at the bottoms. Maybe so. All right, let's see what's in here. He even sent a couple pictures. There's his dog, Pumpkin. Uh-huh, old Pumpkin dog. All right, let's bust into this bad boy. Said it's some duck, duck plates, so I'm sure it's extremely fragile. Oh, no. oh wow. 1854. Made and fine. Oh, what is going on here? Whoa. Whoa, this looks old. Whoa. Whoa. Check that out. That to be really, oh my. Look at that, the Northern Shoveler. Old Shoveler plates, dude. It even has a certificate of authenticity. Wow. Wow, this is no joke. I better be pretty careful with this. Oh, uh, Tim, dude. This is awesome. I have no idea how I'm gonna display these, you know, without like taking them out. But these are awesome. This stuff is the best. Stuff that I can put in the lodge. If y'all wanna send something to the P.O. box, it is linked 
down in the description below as always. It's always down there. Oh, look at this. They even smelled. Look at that, a pair of wood ducks. How sweet, dude. Tim, thank you, man. I am definitely gonna have to do some research on these. I am gonna get inside and get to researching these bad boys because those are old. If you guys know anything about these, drop a comment down below and let me know. But, but subscribe if you guys haven't. We're uploading what? Uh, every other day pretty much. So on top of that, I just checked the old analytics on the tube and there's like 52% of y'all that have not subscribed. Hit the button, hit the notification bell. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see on the next Foul Friday, whether it's over guns, am ammunition, shot size, chokes. All th Those are four of them that I've had a lot of questions about. Let me know down below, please. But until next time. Shoot him. Shoot him. Ah, oh, Fred. You got your bird. Good shot.